And to support the community of Dadeville, the Caring for Dadeville Fund has been established by the Community Foundation of East Alabama. The organization is helping to manage the donations at this time. Joining us live over Zoom is Katie Whittlesey from the Community Foundation of East Alabama. And Katie, this is absolutely heartbreaking what happened in Dadeville. Talk about your desire to help and what you felt led you to step up to do something. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much, Sally, for having me. You know, the Community Foundation of East Alabama um, connects donors with causes that matter. And what is important to us right now is that we ensure that Dadeville understands that they matter and that, you know, I, what inspired me to stand up, I, I have to admit it was my four week old little girl, Annie, and holding her and realizing that there were parents that were not going to be able to hold their children um, and hug them and embrace them ever again. And that's what makes you stand up. Um, I think about the 28 other victims that were, um, you know, that are currently, you know, dealing with medical issues and whether they are small or we have many that are in critical condition. It makes you stand up to realize that we need to help this community to recover, to heal. Um, and so we have established the Caring for Dadeville Fund in order to provide a 501c3 outlet for individuals, foundations, um, businesses to make donations to so that we can best support this community moving forward. What has the feedback been for this fund? I know there are so many people who want to help. Uh, the feedback has been tremendous thus far. Uh, just before this interview, I checked my email and we had donations from Oklahoma, from New York. Thank you to those of you that are donating. And we are you know, excited because the community leaders headed to Dadeville in just a moment to go and meet with several community leaders. And you know, the goal is to have this committee in place to ensure that we distribute the funds to the nonprofits, the faith-based organization, and those that can make sure that the funeral costs get covered or that the hospital visits that are needed. Um, we want to alleviate the financial burden. And I am so grateful that there are so many people that want to help. And I'm, you know, also want to ask, please, if you have, you know, every every bit counts from the $5 donation to the thousand dollar donation and more. Um, every donation matters. And our goal at the Community Foundation of East Alabama is to ensure that the donations are stewarded well. We want to take your, your funds and ensure that they go to the resources that can best help this community, these students and their families. We can't take away the heartbreak. We can't take away the pain, but we can help ease some of the burden that these families are facing right now. Why are funds like this so important? When you have a community such as Dadeville that is so small, there are only 3,000, about 3,000 residents, um, it's important that they don't have a financial um, burden on them as they are trying to heal. These students are walking into a classroom today and none of us can imagine the pain, the angst that they're feeling. And I think about my own daughter and all I want for her is to feel safe and secure. And that's why these funds are important. We have to bring safety and security to a community that doesn't have that feeling right now. And that's the only way that these individuals can go on to live a healthy, fruitful life. And when I say healthy, I also I don't only mean physical, but I mean mental health moving forward. This is going to have, these students will have tremendous PTSD. And it's important that we have the resources to help them with that. The healthcare workers have been through absolute trauma. And if we can help and your funds will help to make sure that we can connect them with resources in order to um, you know, just heal. And I think that I wanna just encourage you to donate so that these families can heal. Remind us how we can donate. Absolutely. So our website, we've set up caringfordadeville.org. And so you can make a donation online. You're also welcome to mail a donation, which I saw the address just pop up on the screen. Um, but we appreciate your support and um, look forward to helping Dadeville overcome and move forward from this tragedy. Katie, thank you so much for joining us on Alabama Live. And thank you for what you are doing to support the Dadeville community right now. Thank you, Sally.